Okay, Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Looking here at the um, instructions that are given in the beginning of chapter 31 in Bamidbar, God tells Moshe, Nikom nikmat b'nei Yisrael janim. You are, you are meant to uh, avenge the vengeance of the children of Israel, me'et hamidjanim, from the Midianites. Achar te'esef alamecha. The Midianites and who had, um, and the Moabite women, we know that story. So there's to be a battle that's to take place with these, with these um, Midianites who have, who have, um, um, who are the ones who instigated the whole matter that was that led to a terrible catastrophe for the Israelites in, in part, at the end of uh, um, Parshat Chukat, as we talked about in, as well in, around Pinchas. So it's time, we must uh, punish them. And that's called Nikmat B'nai Yisrael, the vengeance of the children of Israel. And then God says, and here it's critical that we notice this, and once that's done, Achar Te'asef Elamecha. After that, you will be gathered onto your people. What does gathered onto your people mean? We know exactly what it means. After you complete this task, uh, it'll be time for you to die. Somehow implying this is the last, uh, the last important leadership act that you will do, and then you'll pass away. And seemingly, um, it's necessary for you to do this. This is on you to carry this out. By the Be'er Moshel Ha'am Lemor, and Moshe immediately spoke to the people and told them to uh, to to set up a, 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 a an army of people, and um, and they'll go ahead and punish. Uh, this is what Rashi has to say. But the Bir Moshe, etc. Afal pi sheshama shemitato tuluyabadavar. Even though he heard that his own passing, his own death, was hanging on this, and guess I don't know. Somehow, if he refuses, <laughs> so he doesn't. If he delays, then he'll live longer. Something like that. Nonetheless, asaba simcha v'loicher. He did it joyously, and he didn't uh, delay. He did it joyously. I don't think it means that he fights wars or he organizes battles and to kill people. That's not what it was. But to the commandment of God, he carries out the simcha. Puts himself aside. Whatever my fate will be, my fate will be. But I understand my, my, the expectation of me and I am an Evid Hashem. I'm a servant of God. I will do it with joy what you command. And so it is that Moshe gives the instructions that he gives. What a powerful message when it means to put oneself aside, one's own interests aside, or at least one's fears about what will happen to him uh, inevitably aside, because God has so commanded. May we learn to do a little bit of that in our own lives as well. Have a great day.